In Photoshop, how to create an effect like this. Really weird, distorted, smeared effect. And you can create a variety of different sort of smeary, melting designs very quickly with any image, PC or Mac. The original image is this. And let's just go through the steps. First thing to do, set the color over here. I want black and white. So black and white, just using the color picker here. Click OK. So white and black, white or black, whatever you want. Go with filter and go down here to render and fibers. So render and fibers, select that. With these fibers, you can see the color now is black and white. If you'd gone for red and green in the various colors, you would have seen red and green there. Instead, you get black and white. And then you can modify the variance if you want. If you go that, you get a very noisy effect. You go this way, which is what I want. You get this lovely more fiber look with it. And you can also modify the strength as well. Though the effect is, I think, pretty subtle. So I'm just going to go with about eight and seven. And you can also randomize. So you might decide, you know what, let's just go through that. And you think, oh, that's a much nicer fiber look. And you can click OK. Of course, completely covers the image. Well, what you can do, you can go here, edit, and you can fade. All the filters have that. So fade fibers. And then you can go through the blend modes. So you can go for darken, so you can get the image back again. Go for maybe multiply, maybe lighten. So select that. Now the effect I want, linear dodge. Gives a sort of roughness to it. Got the image, got that, and click OK. Now you can modify the opacity as well. Next thing, select and go to color range. And I want to just select part of this so I can get a selection from this. So I'm just going to go for this dark part here. And you can see the result here. Now it's a pity this image can't be translated into the image here. But what you get is a selection. And the fuzziness is set to 78 in this case. So click OK. And you can see now you've got the selection. And then you can go to edit and copy. Of course you could use shortcuts. Edit and paste. And that's an extra layer. So you've got a layer and you can go over here and you've got effects in the layers panel. Also, you can go to Layer and Layer Style, and you can go to Bevel and Boss. Now, the result is not great when you initially go into it, depending on your, your settings. I'm using Emboss and Smooth, going with Down, but I'm going to change the angle. So just change the angle. I want to go this way, but I want, obviously, still some of that effect in there. Don't want to push it too far. It's something like that. Yes, exactly like that. Just slightly aside, just change the angle a bit. The result can vary. You can get this really weird, like surface texture you have, like on a rough wall or something. And then click OK. And of course, different settings, contour settings, all those sorts of things will have an effect. But you can create a variety of different designs like this using this approach. Well, once you've done that, I don't want the second layer now, so I just go to Layer and Flatten Image. So I flatten it all into a single layer. Now, I'm just going to apply filter and go down here to stylize and oil paint. Now, if you can't find the oil paint, well, the oil paint is not available. You might be in CMYK or something. What you need to be in is RGB and 8-bit channel. And that's in the image menu and mode. So, stylize and oil paint. And then, you can vary this. So, just try out different settings. I mean, some will work better than others. You can go for cleanliness like that, really low push the cleanliness up to the max. And you can also move this preview. It's not the biggest of previews. You can see the effect there. You may want to reduce that down. You can you can get all kinds. If you go for stylized, say 3.2, cleanliness 10, click OK. And you'll get sort of melted look. And you can apply it again. So filter, oil paint, apply it a couple of times like that. And it will create different effects each and every time. What you can also do once you've got that is you can go to image and adjustments and maybe use levels. Just change that, just there, push that up, that there, go for like 0.4 and 228, and that's in the input levels, and click OK. And you've got that result. As well, you might like to go for image adjustments, vibrance. Go for vibrance, increase it to about 43, and saturation, push it up to the max. Click OK 
to achieve effect like that. Sort of real weird, colourful, distorted, smeared design. But all kinds of different designs can be created using this approach. Sometimes sort of thin line effects or warped designs like this. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. A like or dislike, always appreciated. Bye.